So, you finally made it! Yes, the best member of your crew has now arrived! The host of the expedition's here too? Awesome! Oh, you brought the twerp with you? Hey, be nice! This twerp you're talking to saved the world pretty recently! Well then, it's good to know he's slightly more useful than a drifting joystick now! But the focus is no longer on him! Now watch, boys, as true talent takes the stage! Flounder Heights, one of the only maps from Rainkopolis Plaza that has been completely ruined in its design. Flounder Heights is an extremely beloved map that the community champion to have back in again, which we'll talk more about in this episode of the Expedition. Flounder is a nice wide apartment complex with a lower and upper level. If you want to be sneaky or possibly flank the enemy, you can go through the alleys on the lower level. This level interconnects smoothly with the upper level too, making the stage very fluid to move around in as a whole. I love how the most normal design maps end up being the best ones while the most beautiful ones are utter garbage. Oh look, a beautiful extravagant temple that probably cost a fortune to build. It would be a shame if the battlefield it housed was the size of a Lego. Wow, look at this extremely high-end resort. It would be a shame if its battlefield was just the shape of an oversized Tetris block. But the suburban apartment complex, yeah, that one gets the S-tier design. Yeah, the boss hasn't been the happiest with the map design we've gotten in this flatland so far. He said that if there was one more stage announced in this game shaped like a flamingo's neck, then he was going to file a lawsuit. Are you snitching on me, porcupine Patrick? No, 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 sir. The the lower levels of Flounder Heights are a very linear, wide open space where close range weapons lie in wait to splat some unsuspecting enemy that hop down from their base. While they wait, they can also go check out the pools of water, the laundromat, or the mini barber shop. There's a jellyfish on one side of the stage that's living the short people lifestyle of not being able to reach things like this door handle, and another on the other side that's probably stealing from someone else's locker. Travis went to Flounder Heights with his trusted rollers to test these alleyways out. Oh, you think you can outrule me, boy? Let that be a lesson to you, fat headed flingza. Man, oh. All y'all gotta work on your reflexes down here to keep up with little old me. With this bubbler contraption, I can actually defend myself now. No longer have to be constantly canceled like a Twitter user whenever I use my special. Another poor soul who's decided to co- Oh, that's a spite lane. Okay, hon, that squid bag was unnecessary. Yeah, as fun as it can be to lurk down here, you need to make sure you're not outranged. Don't you ever get tired of the boss throwing you into stuff like that? Nah, not really. It's for the paycheck at the end of the day. Plus, it allows me to improve my roller whacking while making the show entertaining. I don't mind being the butt of the joke sometimes. What about you? Tired of wearing those head coverings yet? Not really. Like you, I'm working for the paycheck. Well, actually, there's something about the boss that I want to learn more about. But, while I do, we'll just have to write things out together. You got it, partner. Once you're done hanging out at the bottom of the map, you can go up the ramp or the apartment walls to the upper level. This is where the squid surge can really come into play. You can use the squid surge to quickly surprise enemies at the top for a quick splat. It could be more useful if the height of this map wasn't cut in half like a subway foot long, but what do I know? The top of the map stays mostly similar with the central grate connecting the two apartment buildings and the arches that make it slightly more interesting to travel to the other side. Because of these, you will have to let your long range buddies clear the Way, so you can go on the offensive. If the enemy backliner decides to clap back, then you can try hiding behind the arch for partial cover or fall through the grate to the floor below. Can I just say that I feel so bad for whoever lives here though? Half the places they can leave are weirdly placed. If this poor jellyfish steps out the door, he'll fall four feet into the alley. If they go upstairs, these things block their way. Flounder Heights, more like Flounder Federal Prison. After getting slaughtered in the alleys, Travis went to the roof to see how things were done. God, this area is a toughie to take. Here's some protection, buddy. Now now please throw that booyah bomb quickly, even now my junk is sinking like the Titanic. Now that I'm on top of these things, I can see every trick you try to pull. So let me just send you on your way now, my Japanese friend. Woohoo! These Tentatech players must be on sale. I'm talking splat one, get one free. Good work holding down the fort, Mike. Let's see what's troubling you. Oh, poor thing, looking like a scurred chihuahua over there. Mike, you're just playing with your food. They have no way to leave. They're just trapped there. I'm gonna leave them alone. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell him about that position. The plot far back into the apartment building is a haven where backliners can stay. This can give them both a view over the arches in the middle and anyone trying to flank to one side or the other using the middle route. It was a perfect place for me as a sniper expert to stay. If they didn't get rid of the escape path back to your base, they just couldn't let Flounder come over nice and quietly. They had to mutilate the left and right sides of the map, so when someone rushes me or throws a special at me, I have nowhere to run. I don't need to run to splat you, heathen, and I don't need my ink back either. All I need is you. Okay, let's try this again. Goodbye, and. 
<laughs> you shot me so hard that I gained x-ray vision for a few frames there. You'll pay for that. Not even that baggy coat you probably pulled out of the dumpster will protect you from me. So we're just uh, not going to tell the boss that you can stand at the top of the wall to achieve the same effects and not get trapped? Nope. The only thing more powerful than that man's wit is his ego. At this point, if we did tell him, he'd go in one ear and out the other until he gets a revenge quad on that platform. Please! You're not a Dragon Ball Z character! Not the Booyah Bomb! <sighs> Once you do claim both sections of the middle, the backliners on your team should be able to reach into the enemy base. This is where the most hype part of Flounder comes in. The 1v1 showdowns. Where one person stands big and bold on the tower, meanwhile their challenger is subtly right side peeking by the AC. Whoever fires first and fires well gets the crucial pick. I'll never forget moments like these. The ranked modes on Flounder Heights are just as awesome with modes like tower control and clam blitz require consistent pressure on the enemy team or just constant spiling fire, whichever you prefer. Meanwhile, Rainmaker, you can still get a free 40 points just by falling off the building into the alley. And in splat zones, it's a desperate scramble for half the match to get both zones. Until someone just gets their triple link strike and cap fill zones for a couple seconds out of sheer impatience. All around an awesome map to be on. From the map design to just the general atmosphere in and around it, Flounder Heights just feels like a nice place to be. Hey Travis, come take a look over here. Huh? Oh, now that's cute. I think we got a little jellyfish family on the seesaw. Look at them moving that 10 frames per second glory. I remember spending the longest time on those with my younger sister when I was younger. Same with me and my family. What about you, boss? I... I don't really remember any times like that at all. I guess the expedition has clogged up my memory. You don't remember any memories like that with your own family? No, not really. My family these past few years have really just been alpha and that little twerp- Wait, why am I telling you this? Such matters are not the concern of co-workers. Right, uh, apologies, sir. Then let's wrap up the episode, shall we? Glad you understand, my upstanding urchin. <clears throat> I've been your host and you've watched the Inkspedition. If you've enjoyed, remember to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more in-depth looks at mini-maps given to us in the Splatlands. I'll see you all next time.